Uh, but my topic is going to be called headache CSS or headache.css, I guess I should say. Um, and I purposely made that sound like a framework, like bootstrap.css or something like that. Um, but it's actually far from a framework. It's actually a way of thinking and a methodology to um, writing CSS that's easily maintainable and scalable. Um, a lot of times things start out and they're very, you know, you have this idea in your head, you're like, this is going to be the best CSS I've ever had. And I'm going to be able to maintain it. It's going to be awesome. But as client changes start rolling in, things, you know, start just turning into a huge mess and maintaining it um, becomes a lot of work. So I'm just going to walk through different naming conventions, organizations, and things like that to uh, just help maintainability. So the main thing I wanted to take away is that uh, CSS makes things look pretty, uh, but it's inherently um, not pretty itself when you're looking at the code. Um, so what I want them to take away is that through the right thinking, they can make their code you know, look just as pretty as their site. Um, and, and kind of the main, I guess, practice I want them to um, start implementing is to Think of things in smaller blocks rather than, um, you know, all one component. Um, so if you have, you know, three elements, you want each element to be able to exist on its own, even if the other two elements are taken away or changed. I've spoken at a few conferences before, um, so you might have seen me in some past ones. Um, if you're new, I'd uh, love to meet you and see you there. Um, I work for Ten Pound Gorilla. Uh, it's basically a design and front-end web development firm. Um, and we focus a lot on uh, you know, good design, UX, copy, and marketing. Um, so my role there is designer and developer. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll just design, sometimes I'll just do development. Um, but a lot of times it's missing all that together. 